Each one of us does have a certain goal towards this park, but if you put them down together and if you look at them together, you find them extremely similar. It's all the same goals. To work with the Israelis, to work with the Palestinians, to work in one group will make it much easier for us to understand each other. And if I understand you, Israelis, Palestinians, it will be much easier for me to come to an agreement to solve problems in general. The Peace Park is really an idea that was born in 2006. Friends of the Earth Middle East has been working, we've been working on uh, the importance of rehabilitating the River Jordan for several years and through our contacts really with the communities we came to see that the only way to convince people to give up water from agriculture, because that's where the majority of the water goes, both in Israel and in Jordan, and to have it returned to nature to rehabilitate the river, there needs to be some economic incentives. The Peace Park is much more than, 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 than just a, a piece of, uh, of nature. Um, it combines rehabilitating a river that is holy to half of humanity, um, be it Jews, Christians or Muslims, creating a space that doesn't require a visa, doesn't require a passport, to allow people of the region to meet together, to discuss a common future. The history of this project was, you know, to serve all the people in the region. It was planned to supply power to the Jewish settlements that time to the Palestinian and Jordanian communities on both sides of the river. And also it's part of our vision for the future development of the Jordan Rift Valley. When you arrive at the site from the north, you're sort of confronted by all of this amazing sort of concrete ruins of the Palestine Electric Corporation that, that are very overwhelming. Whereas if you come to the site from the south through the Geisher compound, you're really coming to these three bridges which suggest a whole different kind of history about trade within the region, about crossroads, and maybe a much longer history going all the way back to the Romans. The haunting thing about this site, like some archeological sites that are not heavily visited, is that you come and you really feel like it's an ongoing discovery. But the whole idea of the Peace Park is to diversify incomes so that rural communities are not dependent just on farming. The rural communities have other sources of income that complement farming activities and over time maybe will replace farming as the main source of income. And that's what we see today in the Galilee in Israel. 30% of income of the rural communities comes from tourism, no longer from farming. That's, that's the trend that's happening um, uh, all over um, and that's the trend that we want to see also happening here in the Jordan Valley. The creation of a peace park is an anchor for that type of uh, tourism development in the valley for both Israel and for Jordan. The mayor of the whole area and the Shune, Shamali area, for him coming here to the Shered, uh, he was very impressed of the work that being done and uh, he is really waiting eagerly to represent this project to the government. Peace building has focused on foreign intervention um, to bring our prime ministers and presidents together to sign a piece of paper called the peace treaty and that be it. It's not enough just signing a piece of paper and um, without the support of the general public doesn't get us very far. Israel and Jordan have signed a peace treaty. 
but there's a lot of animosity still between the two peoples, despite the fact that for the last 15 years, there's a peace treaty between the two countries. Jordan and Israel have signed, you know, a final peace agreement. This kind of a project will serve further strengthening this kind of peace relationship. And we think this kind of a project really will bring more peaceful relations between the nations, not to keep it on the governmental levels. So we could see uh, the project, you know, a point where people from both sides could meet and could interact, could learn more about each other, because that is still missing. We seek to promote sustainable development and um, to repair and maintain our very fragile environment. And that's at the heart of the Peace Park. We seek to promote cooperation between um, Israelis, Palestinians, Jordanians. And we seek to work with the communities on either side of the border from a bottom-up perspective. It's no irony that 60 years last week the Rottenberg power station was closed to the tragic events of the region back in May 1948. Very appropriate that today, looking back for that 60 year period, that we focus on this particular area of the Jordan River where the two rivers meet. Because the agreement that was the basis of the Naharaim plant was an agreement of cooperation between uh, Amir Abdullah I later King Abdullah I and Pinchas Rottenberg, an Arab and a Jew, who were committed to make a different type of Middle East. We always want people to come closer to each other, to understand each other, to work together. So it's, it became a personal passion of all. We are really ready together to make one place as a peace park for all people to come and meet and experience the uh, new era that everybody is looking for.